But let me ask you Thank about you. this um, hospital situation. I assume you guys are taking in patients from the greater regional area. Um, how close are you to rationing care? Well, I mean, you really summed up the situation we're in uh, really well. The city of Tulsa adopted a mask ordinance back in July. Uh, at that point, we were at our peak for hospitalizations, and we saw about a three-month decline after we put that ordinance in place. Now the issue that we're facing is that we're far exceeding that all-time high, both cases and hospitalizations, but over 60, about 68 percent of the population that's coming into our hospitals in Tulsa aren't from the city of Tulsa. They're from uh, rural communities that have no mitigation practices in place whatsoever. Our hospitals have assured me that they will continue to provide care, but the way that they're doing that is by being uh, really restrictive. I mean, you have to be basically uh, in danger of respiratory failure before you're going to get in a hospital with COVID. We had two city employees, one of which had a 106 degree sustained fever uh, and was able to get fluids and then was sent home. Uh, another city employee, uh, first responder, who had to wait until they developed pneumonia to get a hospital room. So that's the way that rooms are being rationed right now is you have to be one of the worst possible cases before you get a hospital bed uh, at this point. You, you, you've made a point that there's a lot of the more rural communities not using the mitigation strategies that you've implemented. And I think I read where the state's public health commissioner said, if you if you ask people to wear a mask, then fewer people would wear masks. I, I I don't I hope we're not that cynical about how political this has gotten. But would you like the state to institute a mask mandate at this point? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and I've been public about the need for that uh, for a while now. And uh, as I told the governor's office the night before last, when we found out that we had maxed out on ICU beds, that we need help. Uh, we. We've reached the point where us doing this alone as a city government, which we've tried to do our best throughout this pandemic, we've reached a point where you know we can't control uh, the, the spread of this virus anymore uh, when we're getting about 68% of our hospital patients from outside the city limits where we don't govern. Um, so it, it is absolutely something that I think uh, we would, our hospitals need uh, that statewide mandate. And, you know, the, the argument has been made, well, you know, we, we really want to encourage people and support personal responsibility. Okay. And, you know, my response to that is every law we have would be fine if people were personally responsible. But at this point, sure. um, we, we've reached a point where we need action. The election's over. I don't know what's political anymore. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I know I'm being a little naive and Pollyannish, but could we just send that message out? Hey, there's no more election. Uh, the masks aren't a, a political statement. Well, at least we've resolved the fact that coronavirus did not evaporate into the ether uh, the day after the election. So we've got that going for us, which I guess is a silver lining. No, you're exactly right. I, I wish yeah. that this were not political. It, it is incredibly frustrating uh, to hear our hospitals and our doctors tell us repeatedly what they need and not get it uh, yeah. in the midst of a, a public health crisis, the likes of which we haven't seen before. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel. So thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press Mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.